what we're going to do right now, guys, is just talk about how we want to attack a zone, the principles we want to use in attacking a zone. So in a, against the two-man front, we're just going to go gaps against it. Let's get Sean with the ball up here, Daniel on a wing, JJ on a wing, and our two big guys. The first thing we want to do in attacking the zone is use the dribble properly, intelligent use of the dribble. So while we're doing this, like gap penetration, step back dribble, getting two guys to play one, right there. If there's a gap where you can penetrate the gap, that's the ver first way we want, it, we want to do it. The second way is you can have, instead of just that penetration, you can have angle penetration. An angle penetration, let's just go on a shallow cut. And now, just by doing this, this creates movement where we can post against the zone or we set up a second principle against the zone. And that principle is ball reversal. I get the ball to Daniel and right away he can use a third form of penetration. He can freeze this man with a dribble. He can go right at Marcus. If, if the Marcus, he wants the Marcus to make a move like that, and then he's got him. Because now he's got a two on one. That's what you guys have to, as you get the ball, are there any two on ones? Right now there's a two on one, and when Daniel comes here, that's the ball reversal, and now we got a chance you know, for, for an easy shot, just by doing that. So good penetration, intelligent use of the dribble, okay, ball reversal. The next principle is, is flashing from the middle into the middle of the zone. Now you can flash from the middle of the, to the middle of the zone a number of ways. Daniel's got the ball, okay? All of a sudden, he's posting, I can flash here into the middle of the zone. When someone flashes into the middle, it doesn't have to be for a shot. A lot of times it's not going to be for a shot. But as I get the ball here, the easiest thing I have to do is hit, and you got a shot. Or if DeMarcus came with me as I flashed to the zone, it's to turn right here. But if you got a shot, you can take it. So a big guy flashing. If, say, Daniel has it, Reverse it to, to Sean. Okay, now to get JJ. A lot of times when our big guys are down here like this, the opposite wing, like say David is, is going a little bit more towards, this, you can flash into the middle of the zone from the wing also. Shot, dish, you know, right there. Okay, so that's the third principle. The fourth principle that we have and attack in the zone is to keep our men, our big guys, behind the zone. Right now, we want our big guys behind the zone. Couple reasons, few reasons for it. The first reason, JJ gets the ball right now and he takes a shot. Who's got inside position? I do, okay? Just by being behind the zone. The second thing is, I can look at posting the zone. Right now, I'm going to read what these guys are doing. If they're not looking at me, see, I can see everything. And so if I see that Patrick's not looking at me, right now, I can come in and post the zone, and I'm right here. If I'm standing right next to Lee, he knows I'm there. Yeah. If they come down to me, it creates a bigger gap. Okay? So the other thing is... I. I can post or flash against the zone, okay? Let's say that Sean has the ball. I'm, I've got Sheldon's spot right now, and you hit Daniel, okay? Who goes up? Anytime the bottom man, in some zones, one side or the other, the bottom man goes out. If you're behind the zone, as soon as you see that man go this way, you should go right into this guy and you can get this post. 
But you got to make the read. If you're here, get it again. Okay, the pass, react, Patrick. Okay, it's gone. Because I waited until he got the ball. Now you got it, get it back again. As the pass goes, you see, I made my play before he ever received the ball. So by staying behind the zone, we can post, we can flash, we can rebound. So the being behind the zone is the fourth principle. The fifth principle is screening the zone. Okay? How do we screen the zone? One, one, an easy way right away is let's use angle penetration. No, just your shallow cut. Screen. Look what happens. We've created this and also a flash, right? Screening the zone. Okay? Let's get back again. Okay, I'm right over here. Angle penetration, but now go to the corner. I come from, be no, go right to the corner. Right here, and now I've screened the bottom man. I mean, just simple things like that, besides calling sets, you know, against it. You know, right away, if I see Lee right over here, come on, get the ball up on top. I'm right there. Daniel, you can just, come on, Daniel, boom. Okay, and if he runs out there, I go right into this man, and I got this. So what I want to do right now, just using those things, intelligent use of the dribble, ball reversal, flashes, staying behind the zone, and some indiscriminate screening against the zone, 